Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today I'm here with a video I get asked about a lot. It's how do you make your iPod screen show up on your computer like this? Um, it's very simple. Uh, just doesn't take any time at all to get set up, and you'd be good to go. And, I mean, as you can see here, show the whole deal. It's a little bit laggy and glitchy, but it still works very well, and you know it's not a big deal. Um, basically, show you guys how to use VNC to you know sync your computer and your iPod so you can you know use it in screencasts or you can actually use you know actually physically use it by using the mouse to move it's it's pretty cool um, but yeah so yeah let's go ahead and get this one started Okay, so let's go ahead and get this started. It's very simple, very easy. You don't, you know, have to be an elite hacker or whatever to get this done. Um, basically, you're just going to need to do a couple things and you'll be ready to go. You're going to need to download a uh, application in Cydia, and then I need to download an application on your computer. I will note this is for Windows. <coughs> the uh, this is the demo I'm showing you guys is on Windows. You can do this on Mac, um, but it, you're using a different program. And it's slightly different, so I recommend if you have a Mac. Probably look for a Mac specific tutorial, but uh, you, you can use it on either way. So, whatever. so once you have, uh, once you have, you know, your computer and your iPod or or iPhone, like it does not matter. Um, now basically, go ahead and open up Cydia. Um, now, before I begin, I will note one thing: you do have to have um, your both your computer and your iPod or iPhone connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Okay, um, just you know, just a heads up on that, guys. So yeah, let's go ahead and get ahead, go ahead and get you guys ready to roll. Um, so basically, open up Cydia and hit search. Okay. Now once you hit it, you're gonna need to search VNC, <coughs> but it's not spelled the way you think. It's V E E N C Y. Okay. I'll have the link to uh, well not the link. I'll have it written down in the description exactly how to say that. But it's VNC. <coughs> so once you have it, just go ahead and let it load up. And uh, you won't have to add any kind of special sources. You you should all you have to do is just have to search, and, and it should come right up. Then once you, you know, just go ahead and look at. It. You can read through it, but it's not that important. And just go ahead and install it. It's very simple. So now once you have it installed, there won't be an icon or whatever. It runs in the background. So once you have it installed, uh, yeah, you'll be done with your iPod for right now. And we can go ahead and go over to your computer. Okay, guys. So once you have VNC installed on your iPod or iPhone. You go ahead and come over to your computer, and basically you just need to download this uh, program called Tight VNC. It's very simple. Come down here, and like I said, I'll have links always in the description. Um, so you need to go ahead and just download uh, Tight VNC. Um, the current version is 1.3.10. Just go ahead and do it. You can just do it by going to the download page. And just first thing you see here, just do the self-installing package, and just real simple. Just go ahead, click it. Uh, let it install and you will be good to go. So once you have Tight VNC installed, then you're about ready to go. So let's go ahead and do the final step. Okay. So once you have Tight VNC installed, doesn't take but just a second. Then you have this page. Um, it's very simple. Totally, uh, you don't have to do anything basically, but you need to enter the IP address of your iPod or iPhone. Um, it's no brainer. You do need to be sure that it is connected to your Wi-Fi network. But uh, you just need to punch in your IP address. If you don't know how to do that, it's very simple. Open up your iPod or iPhone and hit on hit settings. Okay, then go ahead and go into Wi-Fi, and then it will show the list of networks. Now, whichever one that you're uh, hooked up to, which, like I said, should be the one that is connected that your computer is connected to. Go ahead and hit that little blue arrow, and then the first thing that you'll see, it will say IP address. And it usually be like a one zero zero blah blah blah. It'd be a, just a few things. So in this case, you know, you put like one zero zero. I'm just gonna give you guys an example. Then the first thing would be like three four five or whatever. Then be like one dot one. Now be sure to put the dots in there. And then once you do it, you go ahead and hit connect. So one second, guys. Let me go ahead and get mine hooked up. And uh, yeah, go ahead to the next step. Okay. So once you punch in your IP address, you do need to make sure that you got it right. Uh, go ahead, punch in your IP address, and go ahead and hit connect. 
you will see a little pop-up on your iPod or iPhone that says, you know, uh, incoming connection from your IP address, accept or deny. Go ahead and hit accept it. Um, and basically, this is it. You will see you have your VNC window right here. And, you know, you can go ahead. Obviously, it's recording the screen. Or you can use your mouse. You see right here. Grab it and pull it just by using your mouse. Just very cool. Um, now, there are, sometimes you can have problems. It is a little bit glitchy sometimes. Uh, occasionally, it won't connect. Um, so you'll either have to, uh, when it doesn't connect, check your IP address, make sure the IP addresses are, you know, punched in right. And also sometimes just, you know, shut off tight VNC, reboot your iPod or iPhone. Usually that'll fix it. Um, it can be a little glitchy, a little, you know, a little odd sometimes. But, you know, 95% of the time it should work just fine. Um, now, I will say that it's not fast. I mean, you see here, if I scroll across, it takes a second to, you know, to go ahead. Um, don't So don't expect miracles. I mean, you know, if you're just sitting there, you know, showing your uh, just, you know, basic stuff, like, you know, you're not really, you know, doing a lot of, I don't know, intense stuff that's, you know, is going to be refreshing a lot because it will be pretty slow. But besides that, you know, you guys are good to go. Feel free to, you know, use this in a screencast like I'm doing right now or, uh, you know, you can just have your iPod or iPhone across the way and be in control it from your computer or, you know, just show off to your friends, do whatever you want. <laughs> so anyway, guys, that's it. That's how to control and show your iPod or iPhone screen from your computer. Um, so, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching.